heading to the mighty Mania Toto. To my brother's farm, the place I was brought up. Three guides today, my niece Tia, nephew Billy, and my bro Steve. We're gonna be hunting up in those foothills there. So I hit a croaker then. Oh the old drain tube. First, we're going to sneak into a spot where Steve had seen the buck recently. That's if we can uh, get into a good vantage point without being seen. A red stag just ran around the corner there. Nice young stag. We're looking for a buck though. I think we're being winded. The wind just changed a little bit and swirled round from behind us. These days are on the move. Well, we're on the move. red stag. He's looking back at something though. Ah, uh, that's what he's looking at. A big boy. Majestic. Stop briefly because um, some other deer have run out. Hoping, hoping it doesn't spook them. From it. It's going to be good in a few years or next year. Probably. There's a couple of, couple of good stags to stand here with some hides, but we're not here to shoot stags, we're here to shoot bucks. We've got to sneak around them so that they can't see us, that's the problem.
He's a whopper. Look at the scars on the side of him. There's another one. He looks small compared to the big boy, though. That fellow doe over here. Back in there somewhere. We're after he's dead. Nice stag there. If I do above him. That's the boy we're after. Those stags must have got him out of his bed. There's a bush in my way. Oh, there's another buck. This is wonky. Steve's been trying to cull him for a while. T's going to have a crack at him. Yeah, he needs a bullet. Might as well tip him over while we can, eh? Bum towards us at the moment. Just put it down through the back of his front leg. He'll turn a bit. There we go. Sweet. Right in his about three inches down from his shoulder. Woo. Well, that was a bit of a disappointing morning, really. Turkeys. Starting to warm up a bit now, Larry. Yeah. I might um, work another way up. Had to carry my camera. Too. Just um, relocated, had a cuppa, and um, we've changed our plan. Um, we're going to try and attack from a different angle, but the wind's a bit funny, so just take it as it comes, really. Oh, he's a ripper. There's some awesome stags around here. Oh, he's a cracker too. Rain's getting heavier. We've had a few showers, so uh, I hope it doesn't last too long. Well, that's promising. Steve's spotted some um, antler tips sticking out of the scrub over there. Just gotta hope he stands up. 
Can you see him moving? Give him some dog calls. Sure, if it's him, it's a bit hard to see, isn't it? We've found what we think is the buck we're looking for. It's hard to tell because he's bedded down and you can see his antlers move away, but we can't really get a good view. But I don't know, we've probably been three quarters of an hour sitting. We've whistled and called out like a doe, and he's not interested in standing up, so we're just going to have to sit him out a bit. Hold on. Is it him? No, it's a mental f***er. Yeah. It's not even him. Oh, it it's that, that small of mental. Well, we waited for an hour and um, eventually stood up and he wasn't our boy. <laughs> so that's hunting. Way up in the distance here, we've spotted a couple of good bucks fair going for it. They're aggressive little buggers. Great scrap. Back of the ute. And we've had a fairly good walk, but not the result we wanted. All right, well, I'm back at Steve's. A couple of days ago, I was here looking for that big chocolate buck, and uh, yeah, come back to have another crack at him, so let's see what happens. Uh, we know we're going to have to pass up on some really spectacular animals but we're after a specific buck well we've spotted some antler tips in the scrub away in the distance so um, we're going to try and sneak in and get a bit closer and have a look Enough anyway. Oh, something. With my new shoulder, I was starting to shake. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm going to sit up here somewhere and see if I know. Well, Steve spotted another stag. Oh, he's moving out of the cover. Coming across. <laughs> we just um, 
we were watching that young buck and worked out that it wasn't the one we're after. He ran anyway, wouldn't have got a shot. But um, we just put chuck him a pack over my back, and Steve found Wonky, which is a buck he wanted to get rid of for a while. He's got antlers all over the show. Um, I've had him, but um, I'm not sure how dead he is, so we'll have to sneak up and have a bit of a look. He's a unique buck anyway. That's he's a sure. character buck. He's got a bit of a bulletproof vest because he's been shot at before. There he's just dropped wonky, the buck that's been watching for a while, he's a real crap buck, so he's getting close to being old enough to breed, so we wanted him out. He's having to scrub their dead now, about a 200 metre shot. See him? That thick stuff. You see him? Oh yeah, they caught up the scrub. Oh wonky, he's got some good guard times on him. Mm. Oh, he's unusual. He'll make a good uh, Euro mount that, I reckon. He's really unusual, isn't he? Look at him. He's got a bit going on. Yeah, that's that, let, that side there, eh? Look at that. Nice long brows. No bays on them. No bay times at all. <laughs> Sausages. You brought all the other meat, didn't you? We didn't leave any behind. Oh, I got a pack here. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy too. You only got half of it. <laughs> Uh, that was good. We went out looking for a trophy buck and got ourselves a character, sort of a cull buck really, so got some meat and had a bit of fun. We're going to have a cup of air and rethink our plans. home we thought we'd have one last chance look down by the creek and Steve spotted something. Shit he's big. One side's bigger than the other though. He's he's awesome. It's a cracker. He got a lot of points. sneak away on us. Oh bugger. He slipped away into the trees. I think he's gone out through the other side. Well we're trying to find that big buck. We think he's gone right through the trees and out the other side. About 150 metres away from the buck and Larry's trying to load it quietly. <laughs> see some movement through the trees. There's a stick right in front of my chest. <laughs> it's a doe with an injured leg. Right over when you're ready. Dropped it. Dropped it. Not that much of a gap for some tree. Old girl with a broken leg. Good stuff, good shot. Oh, just um, took 
shot at a fellow doe that she had a broken leg, she was holding her leg up so we wanted to put her out of her misery but didn't have much of a gap to shoot through but she hit the deck so Dead as a maggot. She's got a buggered up leg. We have a length of a hoof. Didn't use that not, for a while. Not walking on it. Yeah. It's all damaged might be, there. Might be dog tucker. It's been a while by the look of it though, eh? I only had a wee try on about that big to go. Well, I'm pretty lucky to be able to hunt on a place like this. I've seen some awesome animals, and even though we were outwitted by the big buck I was after, I still managed to get plenty of venison for the freezer. But I'll be back.